Hello everyone, we're gonna make a quick tutorial for Mr. K.O., the new agent in environment. As always on Bind, I'm uh, gonna talk briefly about his abilities. Uh, he has Fragment, which is basically a nade, um, like a frag grenade. Then we have two flashes, and we have the dagger that turns off abilities. Uh, and of course his ultimate, which is basically like a, like a wind-up monkey. He gets uh, a buff to his uh, fire rate. And he gets to be resurrected if he dies during the ultimate, but he also suppresses the other character's um, abilities at the same time. So now, how does this work? Uh, the prices are 200 for, fr for the grenade, 250 for each flash. I'm going to turn on the cheats. And let's start this. So now, let's start with the most important skill, which is the dagger. The dagger is thrown very fast. And it starts its effect almost immediately. As you can see. It it like shows where it's going to affect people. And then it has the pulse. The pulse is what affects the people. So every single player in the radius that gets affected by this. Gets suppressed for 8 seconds. That means you cannot use your abilities for full 8 seconds. But not only that. If you're going to... And it suppresses through walls and so on. Right? So if I throw this here... People in in uh, in elbow also gonna get affected. If if I'm gonna throw this here, people inside of tube behind side will also get affected, and cannot use the uh, the abilities for eight seconds. But what is even more important is that you get info. You don't see them through the walls, but let's say I'm throwing this here, and if there's gonna be someone standing inside of tube backside or maybe in the cubby because that has the range here as well, right? Yeah, it does. Uh, then I get the info that an example. Sova and Omen got suppressed. There's gonna be a pop-up uh, with two with the portraits of those of those people. So essentially, this is a scouting scouting tool as well, which is very powerful because you can use it in the same way as you use a sky uh, stuff. Like let's say I'm 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 going late to Long B, and I want to know if someone is on the left side of Long. I'm just gonna throw this here. Right? Like, maybe like, even like this. To check if the info lands here. Someone would have to stand here so I, to, to get like the info that someone is guarding. But most of the time, you're going to get info if someone is standing here. Because you can just aim it that way. Right? You can also make lineups with this. I honestly didn't make them yet. Uh, but, you know, you can figure that out. Let's see where this lands. Well, that was way too far away. There. Let's say it should land here. It. Oof, that's way too far away. Anyway, you get my point, right? If you pull it here, like, it affects till this radius. So you get info if someone is standing in this corner. So it's a very powerful tool uh, just to initiate and get info. Or... In case you want to do like a very fast push, uh, let's say you want to push Hookah, right? Who is holding Hookah? Like probably some people that have really useful utility. Let's say it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be like a Phoenix, so he wants to defend himself with the flashes, right? But the first thing that you do, you're gonna push the Hookah, you're gonna throw the dagger, it affects the entire Hookah, you get info who's standing in it, and he's not able to use any kind of utility. So you push that Phoenix, he cannot molly, he cannot flash. You push that Jet, she cannot dash. She will probably dash before the dagger actually hits her. But at least she's gonna use the dash, right? And you have 40 seconds cooldown on this. Also very important, you can turn off traps. And you can turn off, uh, you can turn off, um, like, Killjoy stuff, Cypher stuff. But you need to hit the actual agent with this. So it only turns... Uh, it only turns uh, turns off the traps of the cipher if you hit the cipher with the dagger, um, which probably means that if you're playing cipher and your opponents have KO, you're probably gonna do like your setup of your traps like on B, but then you're gonna play on A, and someone else will be playing for you on on B, you know, uh, so you don't gonna be affected by that, which is not the case for Kildra because she needs to be near uh, her utility. Anyway, very useful. The dagger is insanely fun to use and very powerful tool. Like, very, very, very powerful tool. Now, when it comes to the flashes, there are two ways of flashing. Left click and right click. Uh, right click is just a pop flash. 
very CSGO like. It has also shorter activation. It takes one second to activate the pop flash. Well, let's say I have to learn the angles. Like this. If you're probably gonna throw it like a little bit higher. Never mind. How do I do this? Let's say like this. Probably like this is the best, right? Maybe a little bit lower. Oh, you can actually time it with the with the explosion. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty good, right? So you can time those with the pop flash. Uh, kind of like Phoenix flashes, but... But... Your equip time is not as fast as Phoenix. But still pretty good. Um, Alright, and the left click is like this. Uh, let me use a longer range. It activates after 1.6 seconds, and then it flashes. So it has longer activation than the right click, right? It also bounces during that time, so you can do stuff like this. Alright, you can also do a lot of lineups with it, because you can throw it, uh, like, above stuff. And it's still gonna flash people. Of course, unless it's above them, like, directly above them or behind them, then it's gonna flash for half a second. And it can also bounce right from the ground. As you can see. So you can do stuff like this, an example. You're pushing garden. You're gonna just make people afraid, right? Because you're gonna bounce the, the grenade before it actually reaches them, so they're gonna turn around, most likely, right? So you're gonna do a, this fake flash. You're barely affected while, from it, while the other people just probably gonna just be turning around. You, you have to learn the timings, but this is gonna be super powerful. Super duper powerful. Like this. Stuff like this is gonna be very, very, very powerful. So, yeah. Time to learn that stuff. Uh, and F. Very easy to learn. Right click and left click available. It's basically a grenade that deals 50 damage with each pulse. Alright. Plus, two, three, four. It actually has four pulses. I thought it's only three. Right, is it four? One, two, three, and four. Okay. So each pulse is 50 damage. Uh, but I think uh, my friend had had been right when he said that it deals less damage if it's outside of uh, of the range, like a little bit. Anyway, if someone is in the center or like close to the center, it deals 50 damage. It lands pretty fast and it also deals insta damage with the first landing. So this is actually pretty strong. It's, it's like kind of like a race grenade, but has smaller radius of, of, um, of effect. But at the same time, it's it has a longer effect, right? Because it has those pulses. This is 50 damage. So it's pretty crazy. It's really a good um, good piece of utility. And you can also do lineups with that, of course. Right? So let's say I'm standing here on long. I don't know what the actual lineup will be, but let's say... Let's say that we're gonna stand here. Let's see where this lands. This is like a lineup for snake bite. pretty cool right i mean you can do the same from here but you, you know what i mean right imagine imagine you have to like get away from this this is actually if someone is standing in that corner and you do this lineup it it takes a while to land but no one will predict that it will land on them then it lands deals 100 minimum 100 maybe even kill them kills them that's actually nuts this can actually kill this person we can actually probably make it even better since it was landing a little bit too too short. So let's say we make it like this. Let's see where this lands. Yeah, this is even better. Yeah, this guy dies. Or he goes straight into your arms. Yeah, this is powerful. Like this is this is really powerful. Look at that. Boink. 
you're dead, my friend. Unless you can sit in that corner here. But yeah. Uh, the lineups with this thing will be very effective. And now the ultimate. The ultimate, you can think about it like a Brimstone and Reyna stim pack, right? Because you basically, uh, you have that um, combat stim, right? And the other thing is that when you have this, com when you have this ultimate enabled, you're pulsing. As you can see, two, three, four, five pulses. Five pulses of energy. One. Actually, it's less. Two. No, the first one also gives you one, right? Let me check. Once you activate it. Yeah. Okay, so you get five pulses of energy. Every single pulse uh, from those suppress the enemies for four seconds. So they cannot use the abilities for four seconds. But if you're... In all of the five ranges, uh, sorry, in all of those five uh, pulses, then you cannot use your abilities for 20 seconds. Which is quite a lot, right? And once you activate the ult, you have faster fire rate, you swap to your guns faster, right? You reload faster as well. And what else? And you get downed. So if you die during the ultimate, right? If you die during the ultimate, uh, you're gonna have, you're gonna be like downed with an animation. I cannot show you this because there's no one with, with me on the server. But when you're getting downed, oh, wait, can, can I kill myself? Wait, wait, wait. We probably can. Wait. We're gonna do this. Ah, no auto respawn. Wait. Uh, let's try it out again. Let's see if it works. Attackers win. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted. Anyway, you get in a down state. You get in a down state where you have 850 HP and your team's uh, your team's um, players have 15 seconds to res you. If you don't res, if you're not getting rezzed in that time, you're gonna get killed anyway. But otherwise, you're just standing like lying there on the floor with 850 HP. You can still be killed if someone will just spam you with an order or something. Uh, but your teammates have the time to res you. The rest takes, if I'm not mistaken, three or four seconds. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys around.